In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a Facebook pixel, install it on a WordPress and in system.io hosted websites. Hi, I'm Brandon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that all important notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video to my channel. So let's get started with creating our Facebook pixel. In order to do that, log into your personal profile. From the left hand side of the menu, you will come down and select business manager. If you do not see that, then select see more and that will then expand the list and you should find your business manager account in there. If you haven't yet created a business manager account, watch the video above on how to create that business manager account and get it set up. The second prerequisite that you will need to have completed in order to create your pixel and to get it working for you is to verify your domain within your business manager account. I also have a video for that. Go and watch that. It is a super quick and simple process to get done. So once you've accessed your business manager account, and if you have multiple accounts, make sure that you select the account that you want to want to create your pixel in, head over to the hamburger menu in the top right of that menu then select business settings. The menu on the left hand side will then change, select that and scroll down on the left hand side to data sources, then select pixels. In here, I have a number of pixels that have already been created that I've added to other sites. I'm going to select add. Now, the purpose of a pixel is to track visitors to your website. You from that, you can then run conversion campaigns and run custom retargeting to those visitors to your site. Under pixel name, you are going to select a name for your pixel. I am going to call mine Affiliate Success Lab Pixel in this particular case. In this next section here, you can enter your URL for your website and what Facebook will do here is they'll check who your hosting provider is and provide you with the necessary help files on how best to implement your pixel onto your website. So I entered my URL in there and then I select continue. The next window basically checks whether you're ready to install your window now. So you would need to be able to log into your hosting provider and be able to access your website in order to complete this next step. If you are unable to do that at this point, or you need to email some code to a developer to install it onto your website, then you would select continue later. For now, we're going to select set up our pixel now. You're now presented with three options. You can either add the code using a partner integration. You can manually add the pixel code to your website, or you can email the instructions through to your developer if you don't have access to your website. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to manually add that code to our website because we already have access to that. And in this section, Facebook provide us with our actual pixel code. This is the section over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select it, it'll then copy it to my clipboard. And what we want to do is we're going to take this particular code and we're going to insert it into our header section of our website. Now, in order to do that, I'm first going to demonstrate how to install the pixel code onto system.io hosted website. And in order for that, I log into my account, I go and select the particular blog to which this code is going to be hosted, I go and select blog layout. Then head up to settings in the top left hand corner, scroll all the way down to the bottom. There you have an option to edit the header code and you can see it falls under the section called tracking code. Select that and all I do is I paste that particular pixel or that piece of code that we copied out of our Facebook business manager and we now select save. Then head back and actually head select save changes and we can head out of that particular section. That is for the blog content. If you wanted specific pages to have your code as well, you would then select that specific page and say for argument's sake, I had it on my home page. There was something there that I wanted to, to track and that could be this mailing list on the side. So I wanted to retarget anybody who visited this page but never input their, their details into my mailing list. Once again, I head over to the settings section of that of this particular page, scroll down to the bottom, there is the edit header code section again. I then select that. And here you can see I have code from my Facebook domain verification. If you haven't watched the video on how to verify your domain with your Facebook manager account, then head up to the link above and I will describe exactly how to do that. So what I can do is I can select enter and I could paste that particular code just beneath that verification code that I had there and then select save. And once again, you would come through and select save changes and you would then head out of that particular page. Now that we've added the pixel to our website, we head back to our business settings 
page. We scroll down, there are two other options. We can turn on automatic advanced matching. I just recommend that we leave that on. And now we can actually test our base code. So what we do here is we enter our URL for our website and we can send some test traffic to that particular website. You see our page will actually load. So good thing we at least know that that is active. And you can see over here that we are waiting to see if it's registered as active and which it now has. So now you know that your code has actually been installed correctly. And in this case, we've used system.io as our hosting platform in order to install our pixel on there. What I will show you next is how to actually install that on a WordPress website. So if we scroll back up to the top, select and copy our code. Then head over to your WordPress management dashboard. You would need to log into your hosting provider. And in this case, I've already done that. You would then require a specific plugin to, in order to be able to edit your header. And for that, just head down to plugins. And the particular header that you're going to be looking for is called insert headers and footers. If you don't have it already installed, go and select add new and type that into the header bar. Here it is over here. Just you would, you would then select it, select install now, and then activate it once you are done. So once that has been installed and activated, head down to settings, and you can then head over to insert headers and footer. And in here, you'll have uh, scripts in the header section. What you would do is you would just head down to the bottom piece of code, and you would insert that into your header section. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, then go and select save. Now, this is just how easy it is to install it into a WordPress website. This site does not resolve to the affiliate success lab com website so i'm not going to select save on this particular page but you would then follow the remainder of the steps heading back through to your business settings page you would then enter in your domain name and then select test and it should then return back an active pixel so now that your pixel is active you head over and select continue and the final step here is that you can actually set up events that you can start tracking on your website and in order to do that just use your facebook event setup tools select that and and in order to do that enter in the url of your website so enter your url in over here and select open website and then from here you can actually run through the process of configuring the specific events that you want to now start tracking i will end the demonstration here because for all intents and purposes the pixel has now been created it's installed on your website and you would then be able to go ahead and configure any particular kind of events that you would like to now track on your particular website so the next step that we now need to take is actually assigning permissions to access this particular pixel within your business manager account so i'm back within my business settings i'm still under pixel this is the pixel that we have now created affiliate success lab active pixel and what we want to do is we can now assign people to have access to this particular pixel. And in there I can select individuals that will then have access and I will select that they have full control. I will assign access to them, those are done. And then you can see those names are now being allocated to it. I can also add assets to this pixel. And in this particular case, I'm gonna add some of my ad accounts so that they have access to that particular pixel. I'm gonna select add and that is now done if i go and look at connected assets you'll now see that my three ad accounts now have access to that pixel so they will be able to track and receive information of customers who have been to my website and have performed certain actions that i would have sent set up during the event setup section of my pixel you can also assign partners so that is a case where you have a business partner who accesses or manages your ad account for you for example you would then provide them with access to your pixel so that they can then receive the information from your pixel about your customers visiting your website i am not going to do that in this particular demonstration and that is it for actually setting up your pixel and installing it onto your website hopefully that was helpful to you once again, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, and more importantly, hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. So till the next time we chat, have a great day.